dingle dangles. What are they? What do they do? And how are they gonna help improve your fishing? Well, dingle dangles do one of two things. They help cast a lot further. And that's what we're gonna be covering today. And on the other side of the things we'll cover in a further video is they're gonna help you to build baits with a better exposed hook point. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do something that hasn't been seen on YouTube yet. And we're gonna take things one step further. We've got the go fish cam here tied onto the tied onto the line and we're going to actually cast here with the dingle dangle now how's it going to help you cast further well look imagine this is your bait so this is your muley attached on the bottom to the bottom hook is your dingle dangle you hook it onto your sinker clip and then you've got one beautiful cylindrical streamlined bait but a lot of people are going to ask why wouldn't you just use that beautiful sinker clip there and hook it onto the bottom of your hook. Well, it's simple. A lot of the time when you build baits on a hook, you don't have the room, so you can't just hook it on. Or it will all, it, most of the time will come off mid-flight. Right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through the casting with the dingle dangle, and we're gonna show you exactly how it's gonna help you cast a whole lot further. So what I'm gonna do, oh, grab this um, go fish cam, we're gonna undo the back of it, turn it on. Hit the record button, which it's doing now. We'll screw it back up and we'll go for a cast. And what I'm gonna do is once I've cast it, I'm gonna switch you over to Go Fish Cam View and you're gonna see this fly through the air. Now you're gonna see with, it, with the dingle dangle hooked on and with the dingle dangle hooked off. I'm predicting with the dingle dangle hooked off, the go fish cam is gonna be flapping through the air and um, not really go very far at all. Um, and then once the dingle dangle is completely hooked on there like that, it's gonna cast like an absolute bullet and it'll stay together perfectly. All right, let's get the first cast go. The first cast is obviously gonna be, let's go go fish cam off. All right. Yeah. That there, make sure the lens is clean for you. Yep, we're looking good. So let's give this a quick cast. Bionic fingers, guys, if, if you're not using if you're not if you're not using a bionic finger yet, get onto it. So it's a bloody good thing. Alright, so we're not gonna have to cast huge today, we'll just do a little cast into the water. Yeah, look at that, got that go fish cam is just flapping everywhere. We'll get that in nice and quick and I'll see, I'll see you when we're ready to do the next car. Right, so what we got now is we've got the go fish cam all rigged up on the dangle. Alright. And we're just gonna give it a little flick with that. We're gonna see how much difference is really made. We don't need to give it much. And you can see with that, that go fish cam has followed the, um, the sinker absolutely perfectly. Exactly what we wanted it to do. I'll bring this in and we'll conclude. Whoop. As you can see, it's still um, swinging away in the background there. Um, we've just all hooked it back up so it looks nice and neat anyway. Um, but what, what, all, what this really proves, guys, is that with casting one cylindrical bait, the bait stays beautifully and straight in the air. And as soon as that starts helicoptering, that's when your cast distance comes back. For those times where the fish are in that outer gutter and you need that extra distance, you may as well go with something that, I mean, as I said, it's so quick and easy to make or buy, um, and it really does help with your casting performance. Guys, I hope this short little um, uh, episode on Dingle Dangles does actually help. Like I said, they're a fantastic way to catch a lot more fish on the beach. The next episode where we're actually going to show you how to build baits on them and really, really get into dingle dangles is going to be a lot bigger episode. So until then, guys, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to get the line back in the water. And um, yeah, we'll catch you on the next episode. See you later.